On Saturday, Seton Hall held a prayer service for Jessica Moore and the students injured in tragic circumstances earlier that day. We lost Jessica to an act of senseless violence and nearly lost other members of our community. A sophomore, Jessica was well loved by all who knew her. She was a gifted athlete and a true blue pirate basketball fan. As a psychology major, she planned to counsel veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Her dreams and aspirations were boundless as were her family's hopes for her. I had the privilege to meet Jessica's family at the hospital and spent most of the day with them and with the family of the other shooting victim. So many other members of the Seton Hall family were at the hospital as well to provide support and counseling. The shooting at the off-campus party has had a deep impact on them and all of us. I would like to thank our priests and seminarians for their support of our students during the prayer service. This was during a time of mourning for them and the university with the passing of Father Antonio Bico. These two deaths that occurred so close together affected the Seton Hall family like nothing I have experienced since joining the university. To see the chapel packed for Father Biko and the main lounge overflowing for Jessica made me proud to be a Setonian. As a parent of a Setonian, my heart is broken. Yet during such difficult days, we may find comfort in the verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that ends with, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love but the greatest of these is love. The outpouring of love on our campus gives me hope that we will be stronger. It makes one realize that without faith in the Lord, we cannot move forward. I thank you all for your prayers and your support.